वेलकम टू आर पी एस ग्रुप ऑफ स्कूल ऑनलाइन क्लासेस टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट ए न्यू चैप्टर फ्रॉम केमिस्ट्री पोर्शन ऑफ योर टेक्सट बुक चैप्टर फोर्टीन केमिकल इफेक्ट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिक करंट दिस इज सेशन वन इन द प्रीवियस क्लासेस यू हैव स्टडीड इलेक्ट्रिक करंट Electric current can be defined as the flow of electric charges. You have also studied about good conductors and poor conductors of electricity. Good conductors of electricity are those materials which allow electric current to flow through them. For example, silver, gold, copper, iron, aluminium. poor conductors of electricity are those materials which do not allow electric current to flow through them plastic rubber glass and mica are some examples of poor conductors of electricity in the previous classes we have studied conduction or flow of electric current through solids but do you know that some liquids also conduct electricity liquids such as tap water salt solution lemon juice sodium hydroxide solution conduct electric current and are called good conductors of electricity most liquids that conduct electric current are solutions of acids bases and salts liquids such as distilled water sugar solution vegetable oil honey spirit do not conduct electric current and are called poor conductors of electricity let's perform an activity to make a tester to test the electrical conductivity of various liquid samples In order to perform the activity you will require a thermocol sheet to dry cells a torch bulb two metallic keys a cello tape four nails connecting wires and a piece of sandpaper take a square sheet of a thermocol and fix four nails a little inside the corners of it rub the free ends of all connecting wires with a piece of sandpaper a tester to test the electrical conductivity of liquids is ready as shown in the figure when the metal keys are dipped in the liquid to be tested the bulb starts glowing if the liquid conducts electric current through it otherwise the bulb does not glow let's perform another activity to test the electrical conductivity of some liquids in order to perform the experiment you will require samples of apple juice orange juice refined oil honey tap water water mixed with common salt that is salt solution sugar solution acid solution soap solution a small beaker and conductivity tester keep each of the liquid in a small beaker to test the electrical conductivity of a sample dip the ends of the tester keys in the beaker containing that liquid sample as shown in the figure observe the bulb if the bulb glows the given liquid is a good conductor if the bulb does not glow the given liquid is a poor conductor test all the samples of liquids and record your observation in table you will find that 
apple juice orange juice salt solution and soap solution are good conductors of electric current whereas sugar solution refined oil and honey are poor conductors of electric current do you know why the torch bulb glows on passing electric current recall the first effect of electric current that you studied in class 7 The torch bulb glows due to the heating effect of electric current. Do you remember another effect of electric current that you studied in the previous class? Another effect of electric current that you studied in previous class was magnetic effect of electric current. Let's try to make a tester by using this effect of electric current. The aim of this activity is to make a magnetic tester to test the electrical conductivity of different liquids. In order to perform the activity, you will require a magnetic compass, a discarded matchbox, various liquid samples and a small beaker. First of all let's modify the tester that we made in the first activity place a magnetic compass in a case of matchbox and wrap electric wire around it as shown in the figure connect this setup in place of the torch bulb in the previous tester test the two keys to each other If the compass needle deflects the tester is ready to use the deflection in the compass needle indicates that electric current is flowing through the circuit this electric current produces a magnetic field which results in the deflection of the compass needle Now test the conductivities of different liquid samples by dipping the two keys in each sample. In this activity, you will observe that the compass needle shows deflection in case of liquids such as apple juice, orange juice, salt solution. There is no deflection in the compass needle in case of sugar solution, honey and refined oil. So we can conclude that liquids such as salt solution, apple juice, orange juice are good conductors while sugar solution, honey, refined oil are poor conductors of electric current. Sometimes the bulb does not glow while we use a tester to test the electrical conductivity of a good conducting liquid. Can you think of possible reasons? Loose connections between various components of the circuit, fused bulb and used up cells are some reasons for this. Can you think of any other reason? Sometimes the current flowing in the circuit is too weak to produce sufficient heat to make the bulb glow. In such cases we may use another device called LED LED contains light producing diode an electric component that emits light when electric current flows through it unlike a bulb LED does not have a filament so it emits light when even a weak electric current is passed through it LEDs are energy efficient and consume very less energy as compared to electric bulbs. LEDs provide instantaneous illumination whereas traditional filament bulbs take some time to attain their full intensity. LEDs radiate low heat as compared to a bulb. LEDs have an exceptional color range and can produce light of different colors. 
LED has two wires of unequal length called terminals. In an electric circuit, the longer wire of LED is always connected to the positive terminal and shorter wire is always connected to the negative terminal of the battery. That was all for today's class. Thank you.